Welcome to Facts TV News, where everything is true. Jamaica News in Review. My boy was no saint. My son now no time to laugh with you. He may knock you out, he may knock you down. He may not play, he may not play if he play with you neither. Father thanks gangsters for killing crime-obsessed son. Westmoreland community left in shock after two farmers are murdered. In downtown Kingston, a pregnant woman is shot dead. COVID cases force postponement of Miss World 2021. Elderly woman reunited with her family after disappearing from the Norman Manley International Airport. Government begins administering booster COVID vaccines for some people. Lay evangelist John Martin has condemned the murder of his 35-year-old son Robert Martin. But he said his son was just as evil as his attackers. Robert, otherwise known as Sheldon or Luther, failed to outrun his attackers when they swooped down on him with handguns and rifles in Tower Hill, St. Andrew. The elder Martin said he watched the video-recorded attack more than 50 times since his son was murdered at a cookout last Saturday. But he said his son was no saint. When I said he's cold, Ella, I don't have time to laugh with you. This may make people know, my son don't have time to laugh with you. He may knock you out, he may knock you down. He may not play, he may not play, if he play with you neither. I'm just, as the person, what they would have said, my son is. The thing is it that I'm tired to talk with you. Walk away. At 30 years, I leave, come leave out of Coburn Garden, be here with my mother. I may not go back in the ghetto. I leave Trent Town from all long. Mm -hmm. I have not gone back there. Why are we so building to this ghetto living that you will be sending all these threats? And then you're going to call me Judas? Who are the Judas? You all must be the Judas. In the meantime, Mr. Martin, himself a former gangster, said he has been receiving death threats for his tough love towards his son, with whom he pleaded to get out of crime. My sister died. Honey, this was given to me. So I told him, I said, son, I don't want to wear this at your funeral. Can you come? You, you told that to him. It's exact words. Listen, I have a suit him up in the room and I wear. I will wear it to your funeral. Listen, and the last word I said to you, get serious. I see your death, you know, brother. I see it. But in speaking to my son with all this, it's as if nothing not going to his head. He laughs, he likes to laugh. Residents of Crowder District in Grange Hill, Westmoreland, are in shock following the gruesome killing of two goat farmers. Their mutilated bodies were found in bushes on Tuesday. The deceased, 65-year-old Henry Jones, alias Mass Hen, and 44-year-old Brian Chambers, otherwise called Fowley, both of Crowder, went missing on Monday after leaving home to tend to their animals at a property in Jacob Hill Mountain. When they did not return home, their relatives became concerned and launched a search without success. Personnel attached to the Grange Hill Police Station joined them in the search, and the bodies with chop wounds and gunshot wounds were discovered shortly after 9 o'clock on Tuesday morning. In downtown Kingston, an intense investigation is now underway to find the killers of a 26-year-old pregnant woman. First-time mom Shantaba Griffiths worked at a liquor store on Orange Street. She was killed at the intersection of Haywood and Orange Streets around 6.30 on Monday. The motive was not immediately ascertained. Her sister, Nakisha Griffiths, said she was really excited about being a mother. Shantaba, who hails from Bayshore Drive in Harborview, St. Andrew, was a former student of the Danoon Technical High School. The organizers of Miss World 2021 on Thursday postponed the grand finale in Puerto Rico after several people contracted the coronavirus. Several contestants are among the positive cases. The organizers say the postponement is in a bid to ensure the safety of contestants, staff, crew, and the general public. The finale will be rescheduled and held at the Puerto Rico Colosseum Jose Miguel Acrelot within 90 days. The current Miss World is Tony Ann Singh of Jamaica. Kalia Hall is Jamaica's representative at the 70th Miss World final. Jamaica is now offering booster COVID shots to all persons 18 years and older who have received a single dose of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. The booster can be given with the Johnson & Johnson vaccine two to six months after the initial shot or with the Pfizer vaccine six months after. Adults 60 years and older and healthcare workers are also being given a booster dose of the other COVID-19 vaccines. The development follows the Ministry of Health's finalization of booster vaccine reviews. The ministry recommends that a booster dose of the Pfizer vaccine be offered six months or more after the completion of the initial doses of the Pfizer 
AstraZeneca or Johnson & Johnson shots. There is relief for a Clarendon family after a 66-year-old woman who had disappeared from the Norman Manley International Airport was found in Kingston. Hermeline McLean, who went missing on Friday, was found wandering on Arnold Road in Kingston on Monday. She went missing from the Norman Manley International Airport shortly after her arrival on a Caribbean Airlines flight from Trinidad and Tobago. McLean had been living and working in Trinidad for the past 30 years. She suffers from dementia. Her only daughter, Tanya Thorpe, was excited that her mother was found. I cried but there only tears of joy. And I must say um, a big thank you to the Good Samaritan at the YMCA that found her, um, took her in, noticed that she was um, having some discomfort as it relates to walking, and assisted her, gave her something to eat, and called the police. I'm so thankful also to the media that circulated this thing yesterday. It was saturated all over the place. Jamaicans falling prey to online crimes since COVID-19. Drizzle, I understand that your image, your name, has been literally stolen by scammers in Jamaica. That's correct. Tell me exactly what has happened to you. Okay, so for the past two years, I would say, there have been numerous fake pages that would surface on social media platforms such as Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Tinder, even platforms that I'm not on because Tinder is something that I'm not on personally. And as far as TikTok, with images, and sometimes they use my images with other names, but recently they have been using my images with my names as well as other names. So now, even on Instagram alone, I can see over 30 fake pages with my images. How has this affected you? I would say very badly because um, what they do with the pages are no good. They would go around and scam people in different, many different ways. So some would use forex trading. Some would use um, con art scam like they would look people, look man, take their money, take phone cards, take stuff from them. Um, some would sell items to people like cars. And it's a very bad look because what they do is they take the people's money and then they give them nothing in return. So it's a scam with my pictures. Have you been approached by anyone who has been scammed? Yes, I have. Okay, so I've been approached twice actually. So one was from a man. I was walking in half a tree one day and a man called me, Ashley and him grabbed me like drape up grab. Um, he was saying that he has been sending me money for months. He was, he was living in London, I believe. He's been sending me money for months, phone card, anything I asked for, I asked for, and he got nothing in return. So he kept sending this person money, thought he was in a relationship with me. The person gave him the name Ashley. However, upon his return to Jamaica, the person blocked him. So when he saw me in the street, he thought it was me. I had to prove to him that that was not me. How frightening was that? Very frightening. Okay, he had... A lot of anger into him so for me i thought i was going to lose my life what have you done to try to erase what's happening in your life or to reduce what is happening in your life well i went to um the cyber crime unit in jamaica downtown i believe they're called CTOC, and i made a report however there's not much the police can do at this time until facebook instagram or any of the social media platform responds to them i've also made multiple reports and i've made people report the pages for them to be taken down normally instagram would intervene and take them down however since covid they have been using an artificial intelligence system that doesn't do well so no luck i understand that recently someone tried to sell a car using your profile my pay, not my profile but my picture and my name so they okay. created page for themselves on Facebook that's the platform that I don't, I don't use any at all they created a page for themselves using my pictures and my name because unlike Instagram you can't have two profiles with the same name but on Facebook you can have even 50 pages with the same name Oh. Multiple Giselle Simmons on Facebook, but only one Giselle Simmons on Instagram. Okay. So tell me a little bit more about what happened 
to the people trying to purchase the vehicle. Okay, so there was this guy, he owns a car sourcing company. So what he does is source car, either buy them and sell them back, or he would send people to buy them and get a commission. So he was interested in buying the car. It's actually a 2016 Tita. He was interested in buying the car, and he was supposed to meet up with the person on Friday of last week. So when he couldn't get in, get in contact with them, he messaged me on Instagram. However, I had met in an accident and I wasn't on Instagram on the Friday. So he messaged a friend of mine. Speaking to him, he was asking, hey, Drizelle's still selling the Tida that, you know, she posted on Facebook. So my friend was like, Tida, Drizelle don't have a Tida. What are you talking about? So he proceeded to show him, you know, like screenshots of the conversation he was having with the person and the meet up time, etc. And that's where my friend told him, no, that was a scam. I'm not the person. I got in contact with the guy. I spoke to him and he was letting me know that the person, they use my, all my pictures, same order as how I would post them on my Instagram. They repost them. So it's like they watch to see when I post and then they repost them on Facebook with the same caption that I use. Do you so, think it's time for you to take a break from social media owing to what is happening to you? Um, I mean, I'm a business person and I use my social media platform for business because I have four businesses and they are all social media surrounded. So I would say that would be a little bit impossible because that's how I promote my business. Have you tried to reach out to any of the people who are using your profile? They blocked me. Some blocked me before I even find out about them, and then some blocked me after. They just blocked me. So there's this person posing as Kanika Jones, I believe. Her name is Kanika Jones on Facebook, but she's using my images. So mm -hmm. I had a posted it on my Instagram asking people to you know help me report the page for it to be taken down and just to let them be aware that it's actually a fake page scamming people when the person behind the page I'm not sure if it's a man or a woman because you know male do those stuff as well when the person behind the page realized that you know it was being reported a lot and Facebook was sending them messages they posted to say, oh, people are bad mind and I'm just bad mind trying to get the page taken down because they're a real page and they're not doing anything bad and I was being malicious. So in other words, there's no hope for you then? I don't know. I don't know. I think, I don't know. I think they're idle. They don't have much to do. I don't know. It, it is, all right, it is so bad. I remember... I think it's like two months ago, there was a girl using my images on Instagram. She reached out to me and she was like, hi, Giselle. And I was confused because I'm like, isn't this my pictures with another name? So I responded. I'm like, hi, how may I assist? She's like, OK, so she's um, she was she's been talking to this guy overseas, pretending to be me for some time. But apparently he's picking up that like, it's not me. And he asked her to take a picture like this. So she sent it to me and she's like, um, hey, so this guy is supposed to send me some money, but he believes it is you. Could you take a picture with two fingers up? <laughs> me, I'm in a state of shock. Yeah, so she asked me to take a picture with two fingers up. And I'm like, what? So she's like, oh, don't try to stop my food. This is my income. Just do it. Da, 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 da. I'm, I wasn't blessed to be as pretty as you. Mm -hmm. let, let me ask you another question. Have you been threatened? Yes, I've been threatened a few times by most threats come from email though. So they would email me. So by people who have been scammed. But once I could prove that it wasn't me, sometimes they don't go further. They would be like, whoa, I didn't know it wasn't you, etc. But don't you think that someone may just believe one day that it's you? And that's your life is at stake. Yes, I do. But I've, I mean, I'm trying. Not much I can do. And I mean, people are so cruel. What is the message that you'd like to send to Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, all those people who are the CEOs and you believe that they could be doing more to help people like you? 
I mean, for me personally, I think it's too easy to create a page on Instagram, Facebook, and those platforms. It's very easy. You don't need much. I think what they should implement is a um, ID system. So you have to register with an ID. That's the best I think they could do, and you have to register with your real name. With three IDs, you think? With an ID, with any IDs, your driver's license, your national ID. I actually think they should implement an ID system. So once you upload an ID, that's the only way you'll get to use a specific name and image. That's what yeah. I believe. But there's no other way, you know, to really prove that it is you unless you have an ID in the system. And it's too easy to create an Instagram or a Facebook page these days. It's very easy. And if it's a business page, you have to have a just verification, business verification, you have to have a business certificate. Do you believe they have made a lot of money using your name and your and your 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 photo? A lot of money, a lot of money. I can tell you that personally because there be guys in my DM always wanting to offer things. I personally would never take it. I'm not that type of person, and I can vouch for myself. I would never take anything from anybody. I'm a very independent girl, but. If so much person can message me and I decline them, they're using my images so they, they don't care what people see. So they are going to take it. I'm sure there are other people. Do you know of other persons this is happening to? A lot. I think it's happened to most social media influencers are popular people, so to speak, a lot. Because I've seen um, fake pages in my own friend's profile. Robin. we understand that your image is being used by scammers right across the world tell us exactly what that is all right so it looks like people who are in the south african region and in other countries have been using my images and posts internationally to scam people internationally but what type of scamming we're talking about how big on what scale i'd say from forex um saying from saying that I can help you with stocks, which I can't, because I know nothing about stocks or Forex. So they're using my lifestyle and my posts and my seminars that I do, um, because I do motivational speeches at schools or at companies. So they would just use a post from a motivational speech, and then they would just say Forex seminar, Forex seminar. How has that affected you then, seeing that it's not your name? that has affected me because in any country I want to expand to, the likelihood of people seeing my image is a lot. So being if I cr cr come across like somebody on a plane or somebody in a business center saying that I scam them, it's, I mean, that's a risk. I understand what you're saying. That's a risk. How have you tried to get back your image then, or to have them stop using your image rather? How have, what have you done? All right, so thus far, I have contacted CTOC. Also, my lawyer, she has contacted Instagram, WhatsApp, Facebook. But thus far, nothing has happened since. I have received threats because people have been using my image to scam people. So I believe that the people who, I mean, the persons who have gotten scammed, they're coming to me saying that a threat to me, sending a threat my way. How did you find out that this was happening, by the way? So a follower of mine sent it to me via DM saying that these people are trying to be me on social media and it looks like they're scamming people. So have you gone to any site and seen your photos being used? Yeah. Where have you gone? Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn. What are the names? Tinder. I'm even on Tinder. <laughs> That's Mark. What are the other names and the that are being used with your image. Did you did you screenshot any of I them? I screenshotted them. I reported them. I don't know. Nothing is done. It's still up and trending. You're trending. I'm trending. 
why have you come out with your story? I've come out with my story because one, I just want to make my name and my image clear that I do not scam. I'm not a scammer and I'm not a forex trader. I'm not a stock trader. I don't do stocks. I don't do forex any at all. So I'm coming out publicly, locally and internationally to let people know that if they see my face or my images or my posts connecting myself to stocks or forex, it's not me. It's not me. That's a scam. And so now, anywhere that I go, I, right now I really don't go in a larger crowded or populated area and if I do I am well guarded what do you mean by well guarded can you elaborate on that well guarding which means that I have bodyguards around me so it's costing you a lot yes then. it is do you believe that Facebook Twitter Instagram are just too busy to take up your case definitely Definitely. I believe that I'm just just a just this boy or just this little youth in Jamaica. So mm -hmm. I'm not a big business owner like a Amazon or a Sandals. So no. I'm nothing to them. You mean nothing to I them? I mean nothing to them, no. And you don't have the power to shut them down. I don't have the power to shut them down, no no. Not without the help from the people or Facebook, Instagram, or WhatsApp. Everybody has to help or else my future is tarnished. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, and click the notification bell for daily updates.